everyone and welcome back to my channel. For you who don't know me, my name is Sophie and in this video I'm going to review one of the most popular perfumes that's out there for women today. And before we start, I want to make clear that I'm not sponsored in any of my videos. I'm doing this totally as an independent and I don't care how hyped this perfume is. I don't care what anyone else thinks about this perfume. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So here we have her Delina from Parfum de Marly. This is from the niche market. And let's have a look at the bottle first. Look how beautiful and cute it is. Look at the tassels. I'm sorry for the shake. There was my cat having a big jump. So have a look here. Yeah, first time I tried this perfume, it was on this piece of textile here. And that was a couple of years ago. And I can still smell it. It doesn't smell as it does on the skin, it doesn't smell as it did a couple of years ago, obviously, uh, but I'm amazed that I can still smell it. And I used to have it on my nightstand, and after a couple of months I was so annoyed, uh, so I just had to put it on the side, and I didn't give Delina any attention until now, recently. So, in spite of doing all these videos over the year, I didn't pay any attention to Delina because I was so annoyed at that time. Of course I got over that and today I want to give it a second chance and of course it doesn't smell the same on textile as it does on skin. Ruby. Okay. Of course now I know what the notes are, uh, but let's say if you're totally new and you try it for the first time, uh, the first thing I pick up is rose musk and also rhubarb yeah maybe a little bit of lychee um, but the rest are very discreet and uh, so reading that it had rose i was worried that i was not gonna like it because i'm not so much for rose uh, other than as a plant because it's a very mature kind of smell i've been using this perfume frequently over a couple of weeks to be able to give you a clear and as accurate review as possible. So I've been wearing it on a daily basis, day and night. Okay, not night so much because we are still on curfew here. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I'm very, very surprised uh, considering my history with Adina, how much I love it. I can tell you that it is quite obsessive. Um, it's quite fruity, a little bit sweet, yeah, but the rose comes out a lot. The rose is a middle note here, but still it's quite prominent. But due to the um, composition, the rhubarb makes it a little sour, a little crisp, yeah. Uh, and then it also has a musk as a base. Um, it blends very well, so the rose doesn't get that mature and annoying, so... This is very sexy, very feminine, and easily it could be a signature perfume. And very much for this kind of season, spring, summer, fall, not as much for winter. This is quite, I'm not gonna say fresh, I don't wanna call it fresh, but it's very floral and crispy and beautiful, yeah? Let's take another spray here. It doesn't need too much, you just need a couple of sprays and you will have it with you all day because it's very long lasting. It has good silage, it has good projection. Um, yeah, it ticks all the boxes. Yeah, definitely rose, rhubarb, and later on you also feel a bit more of the musk. So, musk makes it a little bit more animalic and sexy. So, it's a very beautiful and feminine perfume. Yeah, I can really recommend Delina. Um, is it overhyped? Well, because it's so long lasting and it's so beautiful, I don't really think it's overhyped. I think it's worth it because it will last you a long time. You will get a lot of compliments and you will feel beautiful all the time when wearing it. So I can really recommend Delina. And if you want to go for something a little bit more darker and sweeter, like for the winter time, uh, I can also recommend Delina Exclusive. Uh, they are quite similar, and uh, the only difference is not the only difference, but Rubar is not in the Exclusive. Instead, they have the pear, and um, the Exclusive is a little bit more sweeter, with a little bit more vanilla. I think, yeah, 
and also a bit more woody so it's a bit darker than the original uh, but it's a good uh, option to wear in winter time or night time so this was today's video it was a quite short one as it's a single perfume review but i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon again in my next one thank you so much for watching bye bye